of, of what I was going through at the time. Imagine like picking someone up at uh, One Oak on Sunset Boulevard and them uh, lying to you and saying that they're there and then you wait for an hour and they're not there. That's, that's the, this isn't a woe is me thing. I just want to show every one of you that like I'm not on this unreachable uh, uh, you know, there's no six milk crates that I'm standing on top of. I feel all the same things that every every one of you in here feels. Like I have, uh, I, I go through heartbreak. Ex I'm a lot happier now. That's why. Um, but I'd say, and it and it kind of hurts sometimes to listen to this. So I listen with caution. If you see me walking around looking uncomfortable, I, I I'm telling you, I'm, I don't hate my music. I just like it. Just brings me back. Uh, to uh, it's, it, it, to a time where, uh, where where I just wasn't myself, and even my family was like, "Are you you're, you're Are not you the okay? same Charlie that uh, we have known for 26 plus years?" Uh, so if you can relate to this, you're not going to hopefully. I, I don't know if you're going to know the maybe you will know the words to this, but if you can relate to this in any sort of way, I definitely wrote this song for you, and just to prove the point that I feel all the same feelings that you feel. Yeah. So this is track eight. When you're sad, I'm sad. The manipulative tennis match song. <laughs> we can make it a little lower in these wedges too. Baby, don't do that, cause when you're sad, I'm sad 